okay. Time to do a sewing. I am um, not a hundred percent, but I thought, you know, I really need to be in my sewing room. I've got to get some stuff done. So, um, let me fix this. So I thought, you know, I'll, uh, I'll get on social media and let's work. I've got, uh, let's see, I've got a pie prepared. Getting ready to do that. It's finally like a nine inch pie once it's, once it's done. Like, this is the base. It's gonna be a blueberry pie. So I'm gonna get that ready first. And then I'm going to um, probably prepare a rope basket because um, I need to, uh, I'm making food, but I don't have all the ingredients that I need to make <laughs> ingredients for my food. Um, I don't have the right materials to make or the right colors to make the food that I want to make today. So I'm happy that you're here. So gosh, look at all of you who are joining. All right. Um, be sure to tap the screen. Give me some likes. I appreciate that. Especially kind of not feeling the voice very well today. Um, hydrate. Got water standing by. Anyway, um, I am simultaneously um, streaming on YouTube. Bye, YouTube. All right, um, I appreciate you all. Thank you for being here. And if you've been here before, make sure that you um, maybe share the stream with someone who you think would appreciate this, uh, this particular live. So it, if you have a project, grab it. I'm just gonna be working on mine. First I have to go to my cutting table and then I can, um, I can do, um, well, I need to prepare the pie first, okay? So I hope you're all having a good Saturday. It is Saturday, the end of August. Oh, and I got that quilt done. The quilt is done. The quilt is done. And it goes to its recipient probably tomorrow. Okay. So um, I'm going to move my camera so you can kind of see the, uh, the table. And... See what I'm preparing. All right, I'm gonna try to keep track of the chat. Um, I think you could probably benefit here from a little um, angling. All right, so um, tell me how you're doing today and uh, hopefully you're getting some projects done. Can you hear me all right? I hope you can. I'm not I'm not talking real loud today. Okay. I'm gonna show you the table a little more. Ah! Okay, look. I have a new tripod for a TikTok channel. Alright, so I already cut the back and actually what happened was I thought this was the front, you know, but it's really the back. And so hopefully um, I'll still be able to use this piece. So I'm going to set this aside because it's going to be last. The, um, the pie, this blueberry pie is going to be seven inches, seven inches. No, sorry. Nine inches done. Nine inches when it's done. So it's going to be a lot bigger than this one. Uh, if, uh, let's see, so this is, um, wow, uh, seven, seven and a half by seven and a half, and then you got the rest of this. It's going to be about nine. I mean, that's a pretty generous pie. It's going to be blueberry. 
Um, the way I'm going to prepare this, I need some more, uh, let's see, um, I need some more felt. I need a different color felt. Um, it's basically the base. And it's not going to show. It's just this color, gray. I actually think I'm going to work on this side. And if I don't see your comment, hello, Amanda. Um, if I don't see your comment, it's because I'm standing on the wrong side of the table. But I want to cover, I want to cut this. So this is going to be, I mean, it's going to be a much larger pie. And I'm happy with that. So I'm going to start this and then it's going to be in the embroidery machine for a long time. It's a two, it's two and a half hours. Two and a half. Um, and that's a, <laughs> that's a long time. Two and a half hours. All right. So I'm just going to cut off a hunk of this. And I hope everybody's having a good day. Tell me what you're doing this Saturday. What are you working on? This is, uh, you know, this is new project territory because the quilt is done. So grab a project. Let's work. Let's get something done. I'm on YouTube as well if you feel like heading over there. But yeah, the, uh, um, birthday presents tomorrow. So I have to find a giant box for that quilt. It is a big, big thing. It is a giant thing. Anyway, um, this is the step where I use this, um, this spray here. Um, yeah, make sure you, uh, you share and like, hit the like, hit that, tap that screen, give me some likes. I appreciate it. I mean, I've been gone a few days and, um, I'm happy to be hanging out with you guys again. I was on briefly the other day. Uh, but let's see, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spray this and put my material on it. That looks like, uh, it looks like blueberries, doesn't it? Does it look like blueberries? <laughs> Thank you for the likes, Amanda. I can count on you. I can count on you. All right, um, so this is, I'm just going to cut off this bit here. So the next quilt that I'm going to work on is for my youngest daughter. And a, several years ago, probably more than five years ago, I had made her a quilt and I thought it was going to be bigger than it turned out to be. So... Because of the kind of, because of the way that um, I construct that quilt where, you know, I make a block at a time and sew it together, I can take that quilt apart and, um, and add to it, which, I mean, that's not something that you could do probably with a traditional quilt, so, uh, anyway, <laughs> thank you, Amanda, least you could do, thank you for all the likes, all right. Um, let me wake up my machine and, um, it's just gonna, I just need it to sew me a circle Then I'm gonna sew another circle and yeah, this, yes, I got my machine back.
<laughs> All right. I'm looking for, let's see, I think I can do, I, I'm still adjusting my cameras. I, I might have come on too soon as far as like getting my cameras done and set up, but you know, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Great. So, um, circle, put this on top. I'm going to sew the circle again. So, and then I'll trim it. But yeah, this is, um, oh, 160 minutes. I thought it was going to be longer than that. What's 160 minutes? It's pretty long. So that's in a circle. Okay, how are you all doing today? Is everybody good? All right, let me... Um, <laughs> the view! Okay, look. I got... I've got to figure out how to keep my... Oh! See, look. We're going to have issues. There we go. Okay, the um the new tripod I got is kind of counterintuitive in a way. Okay, and if I accidentally end my life, that's why. Two hours and 40 minutes, yeah. <laughs> that's what I thought. Yep, it's a long so, and it's because, first of all, I made it giant, and then it has to do all of this. And then this. So, yeah. I mean, hopefully it turns out pretty and I love it and and I can sell it. That'd be great. Um, I think I might actually um, stand to do this because um, it's, it's a little tedious to sit, all right? So there we go. Let's let's move the cameras just a little bit. All right. Um, how's the view? Is that good? Um, all right, tell me how's it going? Two hours and 40 minutes. Yes, thank you all for doing the math. You're awesome. Okay. Um, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna trim this. I'm going to trim away the extra, and I can do that over here. I'm look at this. Got my angled scissors. I don't want to trim it too closely. It's going to have this um, zigzag stitch. I want to leave a little bit. All right, so what did everyone have for lunch? I had a sandwich. Um, it was, I eat vegan as much as I can, so it was a um, vegan meat and cheese sandwich with vegan A's and a uh, definitely some chips that were not good for me. Lots of salt, vinegar. Salt and vinegar chips are good. Uh, um, I, yeah, um, thank you for asking that question. I am going to use these. I'm going to sell them. I want to sell them. They're, um, it could be a trivet. Um, it could be, uh, Gosh, it could be whatever you want it to be. It could sit in, yeah, I could definitely see this as a trivet. Um, yeah, my intention with this felt food is to sell it for, you know, like a little kid education, but that doesn't mean it can't be for other, um, other purposes, you know? I mean, 
You can use it for whatever you like. The price point on this is going to be interesting. Um, so I got my machine back on um, Tuesday afternoon. My big machine. So I can make big pie. Alright, so the next step on this is uh, to sew a zigzag stitch. So it's just gonna sew a zigzag stitch around the edges. I'm not standing where I can see the comments on TikTok, so I'm going to. Uh, let's see, what am I going to do? I'm gonna raise up the YouTube and then lower the TikTok. You know, this, uh, again, camera work, not always a great, not always a great thing to work on. Okay, let's see. You know, whatever the best view is, I haven't found it yet. catch up with the TikTok comments here in a minute. Okay. I don't think I um, cut that closely enough. Alright, and I am not convinced that it can't be better. I might have to trim it just a little bit. Okay, now, TikTok, I'm going to move my camera around just a little bit so I can see your comments. Ah! Okay. Oh, no. Did I end it? I thought I ended my live for just a second. And I think I did, maybe. Okay, but... Something is moving that I don't want to move. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm not real happy with this tripod that I got. It's a clamp. And the clamp keeps slipping because I don't have a, a flat place for it to clamp to. So I've been trying. Okay, let's see. Now let's see this one. Um, and then that one. Oh no. I have to set this back further. Okay. Maybe it'll stay now. It, the, the, um, the iPad, it's an iPad. And it is heavy. It's heavy. Okay, look. Um, thank you for your patience. Thank you. All right. There's that. And there's that. I might have to pause everything. Okay. Oh, shoo. There. How's that? Is that better? I still can't see TikTok. I've got... Um, let's see. I wanted to have them like level, but I think the only way I'm going to be able to see you is if I sit and look, but okay. Um, thank you. Anyway, thank you for all the likes. I'm going to see if I can trim some of this, um, dark. I mean, you know, it is a, it is blueberry pie after all, and it is going to be dark. 
Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to not worry about that. Okay, the next step is going to take forever. And in fact, I have an app that'll tell me how long that's gonna take. And I'm gonna look at it. And I think what I'm gonna do is get some other stuff prepared and just sew on my other machine. And then I can sit and uh, see your comments and chat. <laughs> all right. Thank you for all the likes. Oh my goodness. Okay, look, I have to go back and look to see it, um, if I missed anybody's comment. Because I did not look at the comments for a minute. All right. Thank you for all the likes. I appreciate it. And if you chose to give me a follow, head over to YouTube. All right. Um, let me, I'm, I'm trying to see, like, I know there's a way to, out the machine. There we go. Okay, so um, here's the little app that I have, and it shows me like where the thread is and what's going on with that thread. Um, I don't think it's going to tell me how long that it takes. It's not. All it tells me is how many stitches it is. Um, it's, uh, let me slow that down just a little bit because it does not need to be at, at full speed ahead. It's not going to change anything really for just a couple of minutes, you know. Alright, so that's just going to be sewing the lattice for the next hour and at least an hour. Yeah. I don't know how to tell otherwise. I wish this, this app should tell me like how long it takes for each one, but it's not telling me. It's telling me what color. But I mean, the app is kind of cute. It's, it's kind of a babysitter, so I can go downstairs while it's sewing and it'll tell me if something catastrophic happened, like if a needle broke or something like that. So, kind of nice. Yeah, but I'll tell you what. Oh, man. That now see, that looks like a real size pie. Look at that. Look at that. Looks like a real size. House of Mon... Is it Mushroom? Thank you for the follow. Consider heading to YouTube and follow me on YouTube. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to do a live on Instagram uh, concurrently with a live here on TikTok with my sister, we have decided we're just gonna do sewing together. It'll probably be um, around this time tomorrow. So if you're hanging out, thanks for hanging out. All right, I'm setting up my other machine so I can do a, uh, a basket, okay? After I got all of these cameras associated together, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move them, and I'm gonna set it with this, okay? And maybe the TikTok won't move too much. <laughs> okay. 
Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna do a basket over here. We've got the um, the embroidery machine going on the other. This is the whole idea. The whole idea is to be able to multitask in here. I definitely want to multitask. All right. So right now there's green thread in here. Take that out. I can see your comments now on TikTok, and I can see on um, on YouTube. So if you would like to head over to YouTube, I don't know if the view is much better or different today. Let me uh, see if I can fix that. I mean, usually YouTube has a much better view um, as far as like what's going on, what how it looks, whatever. Zoom, the zoom and the setting is always different for YouTube. Okay. I think I have um, things in my way here that aren't usually in my way. Alright. All right, tell me what you're working on today. There we go. Oh, see, this clamp is not going to stay where I want it to stay. And it's, I think, because of the weight of the camera itself and the cart that I have it on, it's just not going to stay where I want it to stay. So there's all sorts of um, moving around going on here. All right, look. Let's go with this. I'm just letting this thing move where it wants to move. And I think it's going to just keep going. Nope. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. Maybe it'll stay like this. I definitely need some, like, bungee cords or something. Okay? <laughs> bungee cords are... It, it's, bungee cords are a must. Bungee cords are a must. And see, anytime I touch this to move it, I think I might have to change, like, which camera I use for, for what. Or which tripod I use. Or just get an entirely different tripod. Okay. All right, the pie is over there being a pie. Sewing away. And I need to get um, some white thread because I'm going to do a basket. White bobbin, white thread. I'm excited about doing um, a live tomorrow. You know, I was going to use this big. I think I might go to the smaller. Um, no, I'm going to stick with this one. What I'm going to do is make a fall basket out of this. So I've got a lot of rope and I think the basket will probably be, I don't know, about eight inches in diameter. Hey Natalie, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I am simultaneous on YouTube, and I think YouTube has a better view, possibly. 
And I have TikTok over here so that I can read my chat on TikTok. Um, I also have live chat on on YouTube going. I have to Woo! see, I'm telling you. I don't know why it's doing that. Thank you for your patience. And I need a bungee cord. That's what I'm doing. I need a bungee cord. Or a clip or something. Because... This is not staying where I want it to stay, and my bungee cords are all taken. Um, actually, okay. Now, if I don't break this bungee cord, that'd be great. Okay. Behind the scenes. I should definitely do behind the scenes because this is ridiculous. The way that I have this set up. And I don't know what other TikTok creators are doing as far as like um, setting up their stuff. But I'm definitely in the uh, realm of, oh, I don't know, <laughs> creating my own solutions, let's put it that way. I'm a solution creator. I do the best I can do every day, and I'm messing with this. Um, do I think it's a good time to sell yeah, I think it's definitely a good time for you to sell your Bitcoin. <laughs> All right, Bitcoin man. I am, uh, let's see, I think, oh, uh, I think maybe I got it. I just, there, okay. I think maybe now I've got it to where it's not going to make Oh. Now it's not going to move. Not, uh, not unwanted anyway. Not how I don't want it to move. Now it's going to move the way I want it to move. I think. There we go. Um, this system that I got, it's a, uh, um, it's a llama that clamps. And I don't have any place, like, square to clamp so, yeah, it's not sitting right. But as long as it doesn't move, I'm good. Uh, and YouTube is good. It's a good view. It's a good view. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to um, make a round basket. I'm just going to make a round basket. I got a really cute... Um, A really cute pattern that I want to make. And it's, uh, it's just a, um, like, you know, a fall pattern. So, like, a wreath of, um, fall leaves. your comment, Bitcoin guy. How much Bitcoin do you have? There's a lot of noise going on in here. I have music going. I can't hear my music. There's no point. Actually, the zigzag stitch. 
this machine is what I use to make the, the tiny little pie. So I'm getting ready for um, a uh, how to do like a market tent or a cell. <laughs> I'm not spending Bitcoin. I'm saving my Bitcoin. Saving it. There. Yeah, I've been moving stuff around, which is why there's so much adjusting going on here. Right. Now I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch. And I'm gonna make it so it's not it's gonna be really wide, but not but not narrow. Does that make sense? So and I think uh, the way I start these, I make a circle as best I can, and then I just zigzag a, across the circle instead of around the circle before I get it started. Uh, I spent it all on the sewing machines. Yes, I did. I did indeed. That's why I have no Bitcoin. Okay. Oh, I have to thread my machine down. I'm gonna stick a, a needle, a straight pin, through here a couple of different ways and that'll hold it in a circle. One more pin. <laughs> all right, I hope you're all having a good day. So tomorrow I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go live with my sister out, and she's out in California and we're gonna have a simultaneous live on Instagram. I do have an Instagram channel. So if you are interested in hanging out with us, it'll probably be this time tomorrow. Is this ready to go? I don't even know. Yes, it is. All right, great. See what I'm doing? I don't think you can. Hi, Joe Nightwalker. I'm doing fine. I'm getting a slow start because my cameras were not um, cooperating with me. At least, not the cameras. It was. It's the tripods. The tripods are not cooperating. Um, right now, I on the embroidery machine. I have a giant blueberry pie. But um, what I want to do is multitask and make a, uh, a rope basket so I can do a fall um, themed wreath inside. So, yeah. <laughs> can you hear that? Um, can you join? Yes, of course. <laughs> I mean, are you going to sew along? You should definitely sew along. All right. Now, YouTube has a better view, I think. Well, I don't know. It's just a different view. I don't know if it's better. It's different. That's all. I want to make sure that there's some educational quality to this. Okay, I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch across this way, and then I'll do it across the other way. And that will hopefully hold it. And let's try not to sew over the pin, shall we? Okay, that's one. 
Hello, Grammy64. How are you doing today? Sorry, I've been gone. Y'all missed me, didn't you? Okay. Alright. I don't like the, um, the level of this. The embroidery unit is attached to the machine right now, and I'm going to take that off of there, so I have to turn off my machine so it doesn't freak out on me. That involves moving stuff around again. <laughs> I'm doing all right. Um, I am making a giant pie on the other machine. And, um, and I want to do a, uh, another basket. I want to do. do another basket because I want to do like a fall theme basket. And, uh, yeah, this, this table, this, um, surround doesn't work very well if I have, um, if I have the embroidery unit behind it, so. Oh, pardon me while I rearrange things. Boy, today. Okay, look, the, um, now the other machine is out of embroidery thread, thank God. I'm gonna go over there for a second <laughs> and fix that so that it's it's got thread, all right? And I'm gonna watch, I'm watching you. I'm, I'm watching you. Okay, um, so let me take off the embroidery unit on here. And, uh, just so you remember, I carried this in my backpack to California, <laughs> which was really fun. All right, then it has a home down here, which is, which is all sorts of safe. Um, all right. Now, I can turn that back on and put the surround around it and it won't be, um, it won't be uneven because it was just really, really uneven to the point where if I were trying to make a basket on here, it was not going to cooperate with me. Okay. All right, well, how is everybody doing? Um, I wanna do, it's just a rope basket and I think it's gonna be round. Um, it's just going to be a round rope basket and then I wanna put a fall wreath in it. Um, yeah, the embroidery units, no, oh, they're not cheap to fix. Um, the kind that I just took off this machine has a, um, a plastic belt so it moves back and forth and then there's another part that goes like this, right? So um, one year, and it's been a little while ago, with my other machine, um, Max was walking behind the unit and I didn't realize there was this like really fragile belt back there and he stepped on it and I had to take it and get it fixed. Yeah, that was not, that was not a happy time for the cat. He got banned for a little bit of time. He definitely got banned. Oh my gosh. Ah, speaking of cats, Mello decided to enter the room. Okay, so let me show you how this is coming along. All right, here's the pie. This is what's going on right now. Okay, so um, what did we say that it was going to take? It was going to take two and a half hours to make this pie. So it's going to be a blueberry pie, but that's it. It's going to be a nine inch pie when it's done. And it would make a really cool trivet. It really would. It would make a really cool trivet. Put it on your table, set something hot on it. All 
All right, let me start this machine going again. I wound a bunch of bobbins because I was out of all of my bobbins. So it needed, needed, to, needed to fill some. Now I'm out of bobbins. I'm out of empty bobbins. Well, not, I, I just, I was like having more empty bobbins than what I need. Um, oh, $600 to fix it. Oh my God. Yeah, estimate on your unit for your brother. Is that the one you, you were trying to get fixed for so long that you've been waiting on? You just got an estimate? move this over just a little bit. Okay. All right. You're sewing on your simplicity. All right. All right, Jennifer, what are you sewing today? This is a, this is definitely a sew along kind of day because the embroidery machine is just over there doing its thing. And it's gonna, it doesn't need my help very much except for when it runs out of embroidery thread. So, since I decided to make that pie today inst uh, instead of doing, um, oh no, the one in the shop is your Janome. Uh, okay. Well, you know, I don't know why it's taking so long for your Janome to get fixed. Which Janome is it again? Is it a multi-needle machine? I don't remember. Okay, let me uh, start sewing this. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, this has to be coming off this direction so that I can put it up here and sew it like when I decide to make the edges of it. So the rope has to be coming off to the right. Okay. Uh, start like here. <laughs> there is all sorts of noise going on in here. All right, why are we having an issue here? Okay, let's go. Alright, I think. Uh, let's see what I want. There. there we go. It's gonna just it just took a minute to start. Now I'm using the big um, I'm using the thicker stuff today. Um it's your Janome memory. Oh 11,000, right? Okay, so you had to send it away. Um, oh, he has a big load of machines to fix. Ah, okay. Hello, Jess Pierce. Yeah, it's taking a minute to fix it. I get, I get you, I get you. Yeah, but dang, that's still, that's just a long time to, to wait. It just is a long time to wait. All right, I feel like the weight of my, um, what am I doing? Don't do this to me, machine. Don't do this to me. What do you think you're doing to me, machines? You know, um, don't start, don't start in with me, machine. I don't know what happened. But I hit a button and all I wanted to do was make it so that my pressure foot is not so heavy. I want to just like make it so it's lighter so that this moves around a lot easier because it is, um, it's, it's too heavy. Alright. Gotta reset the zigzag stitch. Thanks for hanging out to sew. You live in Kansas, yeah. 
<laughs> Live over the rainbow. I think we talked about this. My mom is from Kansas. She grew up in Topeka. So, yeah, I want to make a base. This is, um, I'm just making a base. Oh my goodness, machine. You are so loud over there. God. Sounds like a sweatshop in here, I'm just saying. I to make sure the kitten is behaving himself. Now this is where the vintage machine would work. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yep, I think you're right. There we go. It's better. Okay, this is not going to take long to, uh, to make this basket. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to see if the pattern I want to do is going to fit on here. It's not. It's not going to fit on here. Hey, Mr. Cat, you're moving stuff around. Stop moving stuff around. All right, this, this, this is gonna go really quick. Very quickly. Making that rug would be a breeze. <laughs> yep. Uh, maybe I'll make coasters instead today. And then I can embroider those on my on this machine and I'll have to have my giant machine to do it. Because I just want I just decided I wanted to make a giant pie. I don't know. What's the what's the point in having a giant pie? I really don't know. <laughs> so, just sewing around in a circle. This is getting a little twisted, though. <laughs> yeah, thanks for... Yeah, Grammy laughs. <laughs> oh, you have to work. What? <laughs> Look, you better get going. Just sew, just sew along, you know? Just sew along. That's what we're doing. We're having a solo. I'm glad you stopped by, though, Joe. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Maybe you can stop by tomorrow. Fix your workload. I have a machine to work on. Yeah, I know. It's probably going to be too loud. You won't be able to hear me. But, you know, at this point, I'm just making a rope basket. Um, maybe I will make this the pizza pan. You know? Because my pizza that I made, you know, the plate pizza or whatever we're going to call it. Somebody said I could use that for, like, um, educational purposes. Gotta get the treadle belt tight. Ah, the belt. Gotta fix the belt. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't been feeling a hundred percent. Caught a summer cold, I think. Either that or allergies, I can't decide. The result is the same. The result is the same. I was gonna mow today and I think it might be too hot. All right, I guess I decided not to do coasters. Guess I'm gonna do a 
going to do a basket out of this. Yes, I will talk to you later, Joe. Thank you. Have a good weekend. I am simultaneous on YouTube, and I think the YouTube looks better. So if you are looking for a better view, then head to YouTube. And you might see a better view. All right. And I have a chat open over there too. All right. Not exciting today, not exciting. Making progress though. I did get that quilt done. That quilt is done, going to the recipient this week. Possibly tomorrow. Possibly tomorrow. If you have followed me, please consider following me on YouTube. Because I'm over there as well. Man, 3,000 likes. Dang. Amanda, was that all your work? Did you do a 3,000 likes? Now I feel like I want to get to 4,000. That'd be awesome. You know. I like gifts and roses and likes and all those things. I'm trying to make a living here. Which skyline is this? This is the S9. Brandy, this is the S9. It sews very nicely. It has an embroidery unit on it, which I'm about to... Um, I don't know if I'm going to break out the embroidery unit on this or not, because um, I haven't decided what I'm doing with this yet, or how big I want it. Okay, let's, let's think about this. I want it to be a bowl, right? I want it to be something like harvest. I want it to be something that I can um, put a nice little design on it. I want to put a nice little design on this like I did on my other ones. Um, I think... Okay. It's show and tell time. There we go. Okay, so I'm thinking, should I make a pizza tray so I can put my pizza? Or should I just make it like you know, like this to have a nice little design in there, which is like, you know, be a harvesty kind of design and then put, you know, acorns or something on the on the edge. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm just not sure what to do with this. I don't want to make it too big because then it won't fit a hoop in this machine. Thank you, Joy. They are cute, aren't they? I mean, it is almost, well, maybe it is, it is some more season, don't you think? I mean, I, I have these on my Etsy store. I've got them in my Etsy. I've got bacon. I have just all sorts of felt food. Hamburgers. So if you have little ones, or even um, grown ones, I mean, I'm telling you, I've had... I had adults come and buy these. So here's jelly and then peanut butter. Make a pizza pan. Well, that's what I was thinking. Okay, I'll just make a pizza pan. And then I'm going to put Velcro in it. So the pizza, I have to remember how big the pizza is. Um, let's see. I 
think it makes a six inch, eight inch? Is it eight inch pizza, 10 inch pizza? I'm not sure, let's see. Let me move this over here. It is, um, it is almost 10 inches. So I can make this 10 inches and then put a little bit of a lip on it, right? And then some, some little handles. And we'll call it good. And then if I put the loop, uh, Velcro, the loop Velcro, it'll stick to this side of the, the felt. <laughs> You're confused. <laughs> what is the desk set up? How is pizza floating? Oh! <laughs> That's a lovely um, observation. Okay, this is a, um, a surround, and it goes around the arm. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. How cool is that? It's floating. <laughs> it's acrylic, it has a little ruler right here, so I was measuring. But you're right, you're right. On camera, it looks weird. Um, I think on YouTube, you can see where it ends. I don't know. You can see where it ends right here, right? But I like your question. <laughs> yeah, I got this. Um, because I work with really big, like, clothing and stuff. And it has a very, very... Um, it goes way behind the machine. So, anyway, magic tricks, magic tricks. Okay, so this um, circle has to be 10 inches when I'm done. And yeah, I have been talking about making a pizza pan. It's, it's probably a good idea. Let's just make a pizza pan, it's fine. Okay, so. <laughs> I was, you know, I was trying to make a picnic basket for a while and I kind of, that on back burner for now. This rope is is uh, very um, twisted. So the thing about these rope baskets is, the more you pull on this, the more it goes up. And so as long as you don't pull on it it should stay flat. So after a heat index of like 115 or something the other day, it's a lot cooler here. All right, so in the background, there's a pie on the, uh, embroidery machine and it's a it's like a nine inch pie it's the it's a giant version of this okay and it's gonna be blueberry this one is cherry and I'm gonna have a blueberry one when I'm done entirely embroidered uh, the no the whole pie um, this this is all embroidery on top um, the back is just the it covers it um, this is felt and then this is um, lace but it looks like lattice right <laughs> no it doesn't look like that no I mean it's uh, what do you call that it would be the crust right Yes, lattice. The pie is entirely embroidered. Um, yeah, just the lattice. So, sorry, to be clear, the cherries is fabric, and then I embroidered over it. Here, I'll show you. I'll take the I'll take this out. 
so it's kind of like annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Let me um, turn this off for just a second, and I'll show you. This one's blueberry, and it's a lot bigger. But this is what it looks like so far. Okay. So it's blueberry fabric over some felt. And now um, the embroidery machine is working on um, the, uh, the crust, well, the lattice, right? When that's done, I'll turn it over and I'll put the felt on here to cover that up like I did on this, right? And then I'll put um, thread um, in the bobbin that matches what's in the top of the needle, and that's what gives it the lace. And then this um, this right here is water soluble. So when, once it's done sewing, I'll put this in water and all of this will go away. <laughs> well, thank you, Bixie. Kathy, Barbie, thank you for follow. I appreciate the follow. Consider following me on YouTube. And tomorrow, the event is, um, I'm going to sew with my sister who lives in California on um, Instagram. We're going to hang out on Instagram. And so I will also be live on, um, on TikTok. So, <laughs> yeah, water soluble, smart, right? Thank you for the follow. I did post, uh, let me think. Um, did I post, I don't even think I posted it on, um, I don't think I posted it, but I, I did a live where I, um, I did a live, and I where I, I I sewed the lace on here, and then I did a dip, and got rid of all the background on here. So if you go to YouTube and look look through my lives, um, there's the one where I finished the pie, and it's got the it's got the little. You'll have to you'll have to scrub to the end, but it's there. So. Head over to YouTube, and if you go to YouTube, please follow me on YouTube. All right, this is measuring eight inches. Wow, you're loud over there. I didn't know baking a pie was gonna be so loud. Sheesh. Okay, and the, the noise that you hear is the needle, but it is also the tray, because the tray is so big, and, um, and it, it's bouncing up and down like this. <laughs> this mass of this mass of rope. Not even kidding. It's just a mass of rope. You see this mass of rope over here. If, aw, you're starting to embroider. Oh, that's neat. Well, definitely join my channel over on um, over on YouTube because all of the lives that I've done. Well, recently, all the lives I've done, I was finishing a quilt for my daughter. And um, I will be going to, I'm gonna go back to my youngest daughter's quilt and I'm gonna make it bigger. And because of the way I made it, um, I can make it bigger. Without destroying the integrity of the quilt, which is really cool. So yeah, Brixie, what are you embroidering on? What machine do you have? Hello, Tammy. Thank you for the follow. But yeah, I uh, I do simultaneous lives on um, on YouTube because um, I don't always. Um, I don't always download what's on TikTok, and I like the um, the format on TikTok. The ratio is different, and on YouTube, that it's a uh, 
if I, I can, words, look, words, um, if I do a simultaneous live on YouTube, then I can just post the live, and if you missed part of the live on TikTok, you can go back and look at the live and the parts that you missed. Um, you just got an Innovis brother, but the needle's bent, and, and it got stuck, so I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> well, change the needle. Use pliers to get that needle out of there. I guess I, you, you have to help me understand how it's stuck, but... So basically, what you're seeing here, all right, so I don't know when you came in, but this is going to be a, pot, uh, a pizza pan, okay? So it's getting there. It's getting there. I'll put these down. I did make these on the embroidery machine. You're scared of pliers. Don't be scared of pliers. I have pliers in my sewing room pliers necessary all right so um, this right here is embroidery on the edge of the basket that I did and um, I showed the technique on how I do that on my YouTube channel all right. this is not quite done yet not quite done I had my, I had a pumpkin latte. I did. I never had pumpkin lattes. But I got brainwashed by society and had a pumpkin latte. Do you see this? Do you see this giant mop? Look at this. It's a mess. There you go. <laughs> Vixie running out of her room to get pliers. <laughs> She's like, hold the phone, I'm going to get pliers. Alright, this is getting twisted, which is why I keep stopping. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, I hope you, well, Beth Ann, thank you for the follow. Um, I hope you, uh, I hope you're enjoying the live. And if you are, consider hitting this, tapping that screen. Consider sending a rose, because I definitely love roses. You know, I really am trying to monetize. I don't know how, but I really am. I have, you know, I have my, I have my Etsy, but I've been working on my own um, web page and trying to get that done. I have my hand in all sorts of different things now, don't I? All right, let's get this done to the point that. Oh, you know what? I just had an idea. I just had this idea. Look, instead of making this sloped, right, I'm just going to make a ridge on top of it. I'm just going to make a ridge. Like, we'll make it straight up and down like this, and it'll be like a pan pizza. There'll be a pan pizza. <laughs> okay. It is nine inches. Okay. And I want this to fit almost perfectly in here. I want 
want it to be like it still has some so a couple more rounds to go. A couple more, a couple more. And if you are on YouTube, thank you for watching on YouTube. And thank you for the thumbs up on YouTube. I appreciate it. Okay. This is a great Saturday thing to do. I mean, either this or take a nap. Maybe some of you are doing woodworking. You know? Raise your hand if you're sewing. Or embroidering. Raise your hand. The pliers broke the needle in half when you tried to pull it out. Oh no! Okay, look. Uh, let's see. Um, you should be able to grab the other part. Don't you have a screw to loosen? There should be a screw to loosen before you have to take that needle out. You know, like, like this has right here. Jayla, hello, you just got home from work. Oh, it just fell out. <laughs> All right, so problem solved. All right, raise your hand if you are sewing. Or planning to sew. Okay. Okay, good. Alright. We're going to have words. Couple minutes, I'll be moving around with uh, moving and grooving, moving and grooving with the big pie. So today is all about working with pie. My cat is in here trying to play with the rope. You think so? Trying to play. With comment and I did not read your comment. Yeah, my cat thinks he's helping. Look. Yeah, here. here he is. He thinks he's helping. He is learning the ropes. He's learning the ropes. Yeah, kitty. His name is Mellow. Not the slightest bit mellow. Alright, he's wants down. Because there's string to be had. I have four cats. And he is the least mellow of all of them. Now he's on the rope. This is clothesline. <laughs> Orange cat behavior, yes. Very funny, though. Yes, it's punny and funny. Well, come on, cat. Look. Look, we're going to have words. You know, he found the end of the rope. He found the end. All right, well. I think. Okay, so. <sighs> Get there. Almost. Well, am I there? Am I? Am I? Yes. Okay, one more time around, I think. And then what I'm going to do is just maybe start sewing it straight up and only go about like three or four up. Okay. You have to put the <laughs> well Jayla, how is the how's the blanket going? Alright. <coughs> so 
Oh yeah, I, I think I have a summer cold. I really do. I think I have a summer cold. So I haven't really been on my game. So if you have followed me and you love me and you want to follow me, consider going over to YouTube. And YouTube has a much better view, to be honest. It's getting big. <laughs> yeah. Well, and hopefully you have air conditioning so your lap doesn't get too hot while you're working on it. All right. I don't want to go too much further before I just turn this into a, a lip. Okay, uh, back to the pizza again. Uh, let me just distribute the pizza. Ooh. Bless you! Husband's down there sneezing. Alright, let's see. It's looking like it's the right size now. Okay. So, imagine the pizza and it has Velcro and it can sit in there, right? for a pizza pan. You know, it needs to be a little bigger because it's kind of hanging off the edge over here. Hanging off the edge. All right. Hi, Tabby. It's nice to see you. Thanks for joining. I'm making a pizza pan. Making a pizza pan. Tabby's over on YouTube. All right, I think I'm gonna go around like maybe two more times. And the pie over there is getting bigger, it's getting done. The lattice on there is almost done and then I'll be able to start the, um, the little lacy crust. I'm making a nine inch today. Rosetta, thank you for the follow. I will be live tomorrow on Instagram with my sister. At least that's the plan. We're gonna do a duet. And then my, um, the peanut gallery will be here too. She was out of town last week. <laughs> this was a blast. Oh, thank you for heading to YouTube. Thank you very much. I'm so glad you had a good time, Bixie. Um, have fun with your machine, and um, good luck changing your needle. Hopefully that goes all right, and you won't need pliers. Um, use use a uh, screwdriver, okay? Raise your hand if you're sewing or knitting or working along. Hi, Flora. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Thank you for all the likes, everyone. More than 3,000 likes on this stream. That's amazing. And if you're on YouTube, thank you. You're back. Hello, Rhea. It's Bixie. Oh my god, okay. And there's Bixie over on YouTube. Is the view better on YouTube? Um, M Green, I am making a, um, essentially it's a rope basket, but it's going to be a, um, a pizza tray. It's not going to be anything fancy. I just wanted some place to put my pizza. Here's the pizza. I just want some place to put the pizza. See? 
On the embroidery machine behind me, I'm making um, a nine inch pie. All right, so here's, I think the pizza is going to fit now. <clears throat> I would be really sad if, if I made this and the pizza didn't fit. I would be super upset. So I don't want, I didn't want to start the edges until the pizza actually fits in here. So I think it fits. So what do you think? That looks delicious, doesn't it? Yeah, you like the view better. <laughs> Good. You know, it took me a minute to get the cameras going. Um, what times am I on? Um, I am trying to stream every afternoon. Um, usually, I mean, my schedule is usually at 4 o'clock in Eastern time. That's my goal. Sometimes it's later. Tomorrow I'll be on live um, around uh, probably 2 or 3, probably 3 p.m. Um, Eastern time. I'm going to do a, um, a simultaneous live. I'll do a, um, a I'm going to do a, an Instagram live with my sister. Um, she lives in California, so we have a time difference. And then I'm going to do a, um, I think that looks pretty good, right? I think so, right? What do you think? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's 1 p.m. there. Uh, yes, you are correct. So it would be um, more like noon, between noon and 1, Rosetta. So um, I try to go on a little bit later in the afternoon because um, then I can catch my California peeps. Okay. And I do my, I do simultaneous lives. Um, I'm going to try to do those with my sister on Sundays. She makes um, handbags. And if you want to join her Instagram, it's uh, art life for me. And you have to put the, the number, the word four is actually a letter or a number four. So, okay. Now, this is pretty heavy. And, um, I want to switch the cameras around just a little bit so you get a different view. So that means I have to move the table. I'm not trying to move the cameras too much. I'm going to move the table around. Um, when I have done this, um, when I've done these, um, these baskets before, um, the, uh, been on my big machine so I'm not sure how it's gonna work on my on my little machine so we'll see because there's more distance I think between the needle and here so, so let's see how this goes I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna hold this up like this okay I think I'm going to move you over just a little bit. I'm going to move my machine over. Everything in my room slides. Everything slides. Everything. Okay, I can't see my YouTube comments. Okay. I'm looking. Alright. So now I'm going to, what I want to do, I think, is just like about four turns around here for a lip. And I'm going to hold this as at a right angle as much as possible. But I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get that. Um, yeah, I think I will. Okay, the point is, going around the first time, it looks terrible. <laughs> Y'all, the view on YouTube's amazing. It's like I'm the one sewing. Yes! 
<laughs> Thank you for coming back over. All right, look. Um, so the idea here is to... Oh, I know what I need to do. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stack it. I'm going to stack it, and then I'll go back. It's just going to be much easier if I stack it. That's going to get it. That's going to give it a right angle, like, right away. Okay. So, now I'm going to send over everyone over to YouTube, and I, I can't see the YouTube channel. Uh, and I and I try to keep track of, like, what it looks like on, on YouTube. Um, okay, I don't know if you're close enough. But just, let's do that. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? I'm stacking this. taking this and um, stacking it. And I'm going to go around like this a couple times. <coughs> Alright, get on top of there. Oh! I know how I did this before. I have um, I have this thing that's a beating foot. the channel. Okay. So I'm the rope is gonna go in there. That's why um, so I'm gonna sew along here and get that rope right there. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Dixie, I appreciate you coming over there and telling everybody to go look. I hope the view is all right. Okay. The camera moved a little bit. The cat decided to get under there. All right. Um, so, Rosetta, if you're still here, um, I try to go on. Um, I try to go on live every day. Like I said, four o'clock. So I'll, but I'll be on earlier than that tomorrow. Okay. All right. Because I'll be doing live with my sister, and we'll be on for a couple hours probably. Okay. Um, I need to. Um, my foot is too heavy, so I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna raise up the, the weight up a little bit. I'm gonna make it less heavy because I'm on top of here. All right, let's go. Now I'm going to be able to do this probably for a couple of layers, but like if I get down to, I don't know, two layers is probably going to be too much and it'll start falling over, but Already it has this nice little ridge. Do you see this? So yeah, if you have a beating foot, um, this has actually got a wide. Okay, the cat is trying to play with uh, whatever's here. Cat, come come do rope. Come play with rope. All right. Come play with the rope. Alright, I gotta change the view just a little bit. Uh, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Can you see? I feel like you can see pretty good. Alright. Okay. 
Okay, I've got my, my machine going. I've got the cat playing. I'm sewing over here. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this around a couple of times and that might be actually enough as far as like being able to, uh, gosh, the machine over there stopped. It stopped. All right, let me show you how that looks now. Um, you see this? Can you see this? Look at this pie. Look at it. It's so pretty. Yeah, Rose set up. Um, I'm glad you're here still. All right, look. Um, I am going to fuss with this right now. So it's, uh, I'll be moving it over here. All right, cat. And besides, he is trying to get under here. Do not try to play with that. Cats and thread, you know? Cats and thread. Why do I have four cats? It's four times as many mischief makers. All right. Now, I hate moving the camera. I hate it. Because you know what's going to happen. Something's going to be, something's going to be moving and I don't want it to move. All right. Oops. Go there. All right. Okay, look. Cats. Cats, cats. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to move this. Yeah, it is pretty, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. I like it as well. But um, I we were trying to brainstorm, like, what the uses of it is. Like, I mean, I guess it could be a trivet. I don't know. I guess it just depends on your imagination. Um, I'm going to move you. Let's see if I can put you over here. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. Okay, look. Ah! All right. This is... There we go. Okay. Now stay there. Okay. Now... Uh, thanks for not throwing a what in your name? A Z? Uh, did, oh, well, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so the next step on the pie is to put this down right here. And I think I'm gonna spray this with the uh, temporary spray so it doesn't shift. So over the trash can, spray over the trash can. Because you don't wanna spray on your equipment. All right. Now there's little threads because I had sewn it on top um, accidentally, not remembering that. I was going to cover my other felt. So um, with a piece of fabric, I had forgotten that step and that's fine. Okay, so there it is. Oh, oh, Rosetta, Rosetta, right? I didn't say Rosetta with a Z, is that what you mean? Rosetta? Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, um, now I'm gonna change my, my bobbin thread to match the top of the pie. 
so that the lace and everything is the same color. And I don't remember if I had any left from the other pie that I made. So I'm just going to go ahead and wind a bobbin. So... Uh, yeah. One, two, three. So I guess there's some YouTube videos I need to make. Like, one of them needs to be um, when I uh, melted the, um, when I melted the, um, the stabilizer when I made this. That needs to be one of them. And uh, I know there was another couple of them that I wanted to do, but I don't remember what they are. <coughs> yeah, the cat took over my chair. He's over there on my chair. I'm over there trying to make a pizza pan and he's sitting on my chair. Yep, I'm just going to fill this because I know I'm probably going to be too, uh, let's see. Some people think my name is pronounced with a Z. Well, if there's obviously an S there. Is that a, there's obviously an S. All right. I mean, I don't know. I mispronounce names all day though, you know. I think I just got lucky. I got lucky. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start this going. So this, I'm putting the same color so that the bobbin and the top thread are the same color so that the lace is the same color on both sides. All right. If you are enjoying this content, and I know you are, if you're still sticking around, consider, consider sending me some roses because I am feeling like I need a rose. All right. I've been working hard over here. Okay. So now... This is going to do um, the lace. But um, before I do that, I think I'm gonna go back a couple of steps and do a zigzag stitch just to hold the back piece on. So, guess what I didn't do? <laughs> I didn't thread the machine. <laughs> I got it all ready to go. And I didn't thread it. Okay, let's thread it. And then it'll sew for me. All right. So, great. Um, this is so awesome. Great job. I may learn something. Well, I hope so. You know, even if you don't, this is an entertainment for the day. You know? If, oh my gosh. Okay, stop. I don't like the way that sounds. Okay, it's it's not making happy noises. And when it doesn't make happy noises, something's going on. Something's going on with my bobbin. Okay? Do you see that mess? You know, you, you get to know the way things are supposed to sound. And so what that tells me is um, that the bobbin came unthreaded. And it is possible for your bobbin to come unthreaded. So, um, you know, if, if something's making a noise, just always take it out, check it. Um, I'm going to pull that out because I don't want it to show. It'll be, you know, I'll just take that and put it. Now, um, to 
be honest, I think that this is not in a good position anyway. Um, is it? Let's see. I don't feel like it's covering everything. So I'm going to reposition it. So, you know, kind of a fortunate turn of events, really. Sometimes things seem catastrophic and they're really not. Okay. And that was really not something catastrophic. Um, you know, when you put thread and fabric together, um, most of the time you can unfabric and unsew stuff. So. Anyway, well, I hope you're enjoying the content. I really do. Thank you so much. Uh, Rethread everything. Yup. Rethread everything. And that is what I'm going to do next with the top thread because you never know. But yeah, gosh, when I, I work with um, metallic thread or specialty threads, and it starts to make a noise, boy, you know that is gonna break. No, it is. Yeah, no, it is. Okay. And I'm gonna raise this table up just a little bit because it's hard for me to work with it. And if there's a point where you can't see it, I'm going to move. Oh, stop. Okay, look. I don't want you to be able to, I don't want you to miss what's going on. Okay, the table's in the way, there we go. All right. Okay, I think that's gonna be much better, much better, okay. I did not notice that that was on top of my hoop. That's not good. Okay. Now let's make this pretty. Let's try again. Oh, you know what? It's still it's it's still not happy. Why is it not happy? Something is not happy. I heard it. I heard it go weird. And it is weird. It's weird. Okay, um, it might be actually the bobbin itself. And because I have this specialty thread in here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try one more time. And I have to set it back on. Uh, there. Okay. All right. Um, TikTok, I hate moving the camera around because this arm is so weird, but I'm going to move you up a little bit so you can see, and I can see your comments better. Okay, let's try again, and hopefully it's not going to be making noises. Now it's not making noises. Now I'm gonna appreciate that. Oh, sorry YouTube. I did not notice that you were only seeing part of it. 
Okay, there you go. Is that better? Okay. Boy, that looks really three-dimensional, doesn't it? Like, when I look at it on YouTube, on camera, it looks so neat. Okay, so the whole point of going around and doing this is to connect that felt that's on the back so that it doesn't move. Okay, my thread broke. Okay. Did it? No, I guess it did. Ah, still making noise. I don't know why. Now it did this whole lattice. It didn't make any noise except for, you know, bouncing on here. And now it's going to make this noise. And the lace won't really take that long. So I need, I need a, ah, oh, see, there it goes. Now let's check the back and see what it looks like. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. Um, okay, it looks a little weird right here. I heard it go snap. That is not a happy look. I don't know why, but it's not happy. Okay. Um, it has something to do with the tension, and I just got my machine serviced, so it might just be um, the bobbin thread that's in there. So, but I don't want to start the lace if this is going to be acting up, you know, because. Um, sewing and unsewing, that's what sewing is. Half of good sewing is unsewing, I guess. All right, this is, this is almost the entire thing. It's just, um, there's some that it didn't do, like that it wasn't acting up at all. Like right here, it's fine. Well, let's, uh... Let's call it good for now and see what um, what sewing the lace does. Let's see if that does, if that goes all right or not. Got to keep my eye on it. But yeah, it's kind of a mess. It's too loose. That's so weird. I mean, usually it's because something like the tension, the tension, something the tension. Okay, so let's do, um, I'm thinking. But yeah, see this is it's kind of a mess, right? It's fine. Let's just clean it up. It's fine. Gonna clean it up. Remember that Barney song? Are you old enough to remember that? Clean up, clean up. Everybody clean up. And then I just drop it on the floor. <clears throat> Okay, I think just going to do this. Um, there's a couple things I can do, but I think I'm gonna put 
some white thread in my bobbin, this regular bobbin thread in my bobbin, and um, see if it does the same thing. I mean, this step is just supposed to, I mean, the only reason I'm doing this step is so that the felt on the back gets held in place, but I mean, it is in place. It's not gonna move. Should I just sew the, sew the crust? I'll look at it again. I mean, that's not going anywhere. I mean, the whole point is to hold it down, so. Let's see. I am going to fill a new bobbin. Now I've changed my mind. Let's try it. Let's try this one. Um, I think what might be going on here is that it might be too full. So I'm gonna take some out. Oh, out, yeah. I'm gonna empty some of that string. Sometimes that's the whole the whole problem. It's just that it's too full. And yeah, that's a thing. Your bobbin can be too full. Fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. Because I'm saying, I don't have to be the only one with my fingers crossed. Okay, so from this point, like to do the, the whole crust edge is 88 minutes. 88 minutes. Which is insane. But let's see if this... Let's see if this behaves. So just a reminder, this is water soluble. So when I apply water to that, all of it will go away. So then what will be left is the lace. In case you were wondering, I don't have to cut out in between each one of these. I don't have to do that. I just sew the lace and then put water and it stops. Okay, so let me stop this because it looks kind of weird to me. I wanna just look at the back just to make sure because I'm gonna be paranoid. Let's we'll see how it looks. Perfect. All right. Perfect. I think that might have done the trick. Taking some, some of that thread off of there. All right. Okay. I am gonna sew, I'm gonna work for about 10 more minutes, and then I'm gonna end my live, okay? So, um, I think I'm gonna finish working on the pie pan, okay? So I'm gonna send you over here again. All right, 
If you are over on YouTube, remember to give a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. follow me on TikTok, consider following me on YouTube, if that's a thing. All right. Part of the problem I have with this is <laughs> moving. Do you see this cat in my chair? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to, to sew right here. He's, he's taking a nap. He's taking a nap. You need to move. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Don't make air biscuits. There's no biscuit order. You need no. No. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no. I can't stand up. I can't stand up. Nope. Why do I have to end my life here? He's not going to move. All right, look. Sorry, Kenny. Oh, he is all purrs. He is all purrs. And he's all purrs. Okay, I have to fix the camera just a little bit. Maybe. You're gonna have to get down. I can't work with you. I, I just, I can't. Alright. Back to this. <laughs> okay. So this is, this is a pizza pan. That's the whole point. Is for this to be a pizza pan. And let's see, how did I do this? Um, and then um, all right, can you see what I'm doing? I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I know um, YouTube can see what I'm doing, but I'm not sure TikTok can. All right. Um, I'm putting a ridge on here so I can put the pizza. Oh, you can see? All right, great. I think I can go around one more time. I'm gonna hold this over this way because I want it to be on top. and. point is to get started so that I can do, oh, that didn't sound good. Did I break my needle? Nope. Not maybe I did. I don't know if you can see, really. I don't know. I know YouTube can see pretty well, but I don't know about TikTok. You see what I'm doing. All right. There's the cat. No! Oh. It's time for dinner, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> is that better? Okay, I hope it's better. The cat is bugging me. He's bugging me. 
It's time for his dinner. It's time. There we go. Okay, don't don't do that, kitty. Don't don't do anything with that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Don't do anything with it. If he if he moves the camera, we're we're in for it. We're in for it. Okay. Um, I might not be able to go around anymore. That might be it. That might be all I can do. Okay. So now I've got this ridge right here. Okay. And um, I am going to switch to... Um, the other foot that I had on there originally. But yeah, that's one of my favorite, my favorite feet is just that, that beating foot. Okay, so now I should be able to do this. I should, anyway. I don't know how easy it is going to be for you to see what I'm doing because this is, this is very, um, it's a very strange change. All right, get under there. Get under there. I'm not trying to go around too many times. Okay. All right. That's the start. So the idea is for it to be at a at a you know a 45 degree angle, but. Remember, this is going to be a, like a pie pan, or not a pie pan. Well, it could be a pie pan, a uh, pizza pan. It's going to be a pizza pan. Okay. So, I don't know. YouTube, can you see what I'm doing? I don't know. How does it look? Yeah, orange cat behavior. <laughs> orange cat behavior. This is, um, I have two orange cats, and they, they share a brain cell. Actually, um, Mello is very, they're both very intelligent, but Mello is more of a pain. Honey, the cats are hungry. Okay, now I feel like I have a better uh, feel for like how this is going. Okay, I'm gonna change the feet that I the foot that I have on here, and I gotta think about what foot. It has to be narrower this way, and I think um, I'm gonna just try a couple of different feet. And YouTube, I can't see your comments, uh, so I have to move. I have to move it. There we go. Now I can see your comments. Just kidding. There we go. Um. Let's see. What kind of space. Uh. As unconventional as it sounds, I'm going to. No, I can't use a zipper foot because that's not going to help as far as, like, for zigzag. 
that won't work. Uh, out of all the feet that I have, you would think. Okay, now I have an open toe. I'm going to try the open toe. Let's see if this works better. As far as being able to get in there. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. If I don't like it, I can rip it out. It's, you know, not a big deal. Not a big deal. But, I think it'll work. I think it'll work. I think, maybe. I'm trying to I'm trying to determine what the best view is for you. <coughs> like up like this or down like this. I don't know. I think that might work. Alright. You should see this this cat is right over here. Right over here. Okay, I gotta check the lace. Looking good from here. Alright. Okay, let's see. <laughs> you know, on my other machine, this is so much easier. I, and I don't know why. It, it's like it doesn't I don't really think it has that much extra space but it is a lot easier any is fine okay they're all good okay thanks as long as you can kind of see what I'm doing no you really can't you've got the you've got the back of the you've got the back of the plate sorry about that okay look um let me move the, the camera like this. <laughs> Hi! I like camera angles, but you know, uh, is that gonna work? TikTok. Uh, we can't wait to see it finished. <laughs> it might be a minute. <laughs> I mean, I'm having a trouble here. I'm having issues. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, look. Um, let me get this to where it's actually. Originally, I thought about putting um, handles on here, and I'm not putting handles. Um, you know, I can make this stitch wider, like way wider. I think that's going to help. As long as I don't get my finger under there. <laughs> so just, as long as I don't have my finger. Alright. Yeah, I think it just needs it just needs some room. Yeah, that helps making that wider. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to end the stream here in about five minutes. And if uh, if you want to join tomorrow, it'll be um, three o'clock Eastern time, approximately. 
Um, that would be noon, western, west, west, <laughs> west coast time. So you can, um, so you can join any time. We'll be uh, simultaneous. I'll be on with my sister, so I'll be on TikTok, and I'll be on Instagram doing with my sister. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, it's the same Max Custom Design. I think there's a link. There's a link up above. Did you see all this? <laughs> Do you see this? This is a mess. It'll it'll work itself out though. It will. It'll work itself out. Uh, so when this is done, I will post a picture. Tomorrow I'll probably be working on food and trying to get uh, my inventory built up. Um, so I'll have some sort of um, project going in the in the big machine, and the peanut gallery will be working on this machine. She's usually making uh, some sort of garment, so I will try to do some sort of simultaneous going on. I mean, it might be like a combination of YouTube and TikTok at the same time, like for my channels. Pizza pan looks good. Well, thank you, Jennifer. I don't even know, really. <laughs> um, you don't mind seeing the back. You're using, your, you're filling in the blanks. Well, there's there's really not anything to look at right now. There's, there's kind of a ridge, like right here. Okay, there's kind of. It's just a little bit of a challenge here. Okay, so let me let me go a few more stitches here. Because I mean once I get around like this initial phase, it's a much easier to um, it goes much faster and it's easier to see too. But I don't know, you're you're hanging out for my winning personality, right? I think I think YouTube has a better look. So does YouTube have a better look? All right. The whole idea is to hold this rope in the position that I want it to be when it's done. And that is at a right angle to the one below it. So um, it's hard to tell what I'm doing, but what I'm what I'm trying to do is like, okay, here's um, here's the rope that's on the basket, right? And so, and it, it's like this on the basket. And what I want to do is hold this down, and then put this one so that I pull it up. It's um it's like a right angle, okay? So that's what I'm trying to do, is hold this so that it's at a right angle. Okay, look. And it's sort of at a right angle. It'll be better when I go around the next time. Okay. We're almost all the way around once. And I think I only want to go around like about three or four times. So if this goes faster, then I'll stay on long enough so that you can see this kind of so it's when it's done. All right. So we've got this little ridge here. We do have a little ridge. Okay, so yeah, you can see all right? All right, great. 
YouTube should see pretty well. Okay. I am not good at making YouTube shorts. And I really should. I really should. Because this has gone, like, I mean, this has been a very long live. And I'm usually only live about, I don't know, an hour and a half is usually what, I'm, what I try to do. Um, two hours at the most. But when I feel like I'm really in the groove, um, then, you know, I, I usually stay on. Because, I don't know. Why not? And I'm never, I, I'm like, okay, I'm come up here and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And then suddenly, I'm like, you know what, if I get on live, then I'll get in the groove and hang out with people. Hang out with strangers. Alright. Okay, I feel like this is making progress now that this rope is pulling and so that doesn't make it easy um, all right there I'm untangling the rope I like this particular choice for the uh, you appreciate my time oh thank you Rosetta sorry I said it wrong Thank you. Thank you so much, Rosetta. I appreciate you, too. All right. Well, I'm always happy to answer questions as well. So. All right. Okay, the cat is on the move. Now I'm always playing a good game. I hope you try a rope basket. Um, if you want to try uh, the best place that I've seen to get, um, clothesline and you know especially if, like if you want to just try it is um harbor freight so harbor freight is a really good place to go if you were trying to trying to do one because i mean all you need is a regular sewing machine oh i never said it wrong oh uh, you're welcome <laughs> okay i never said it wrong okay All right. There's no wrong. There, you know, this is the thing about making this. You know what? I'm the only one saying it's wrong. Not, it has nothing to do with your name. I'm just thinking about doing this. When I'm doing stuff. For me. I'm, I'm the, my own worst critic. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but um, I think this is this is turning out all right. <laughs> How cute is this? All right. It's hard to explain what I'm doing. Um, I think YouTube has a better look. Like, can you tell what I'm doing? YouTube. I mean, it's hard to explain, really. But I want to hold. I want to hold the rope at the angle where I want it to be, right? So I want these edges to be like this. So I have to flatten this edge so it's like this when I'm sewing the rope, okay? I did not make the rope. Rosetta, I made the, I bought the rope. Um, <laughs> I'm talented, but I'm not that talented. <laughs> oh, it makes sense, okay, thank you, Rhea. Thank you, Rhea, on YouTube. All right. Everybody go to YouTube and follow me on YouTube. 
I'm building my following on YouTube. Now that I have more like wiggle room here, it's getting easier. And I know I said I was gonna end like 10 minutes ago, but I just wanna go around this like four times. And this is time number three, and I think then it will be done. And um, then I'll have some place to put the pizza. Because <clears throat> the pizza needs a pie pan. Or a pizza pan. You know, this could be a pie pan. It really could. I think that pie that I'm making over there is going to fit in here. And I have to show you what that looks like before I, before I sign off anyway. so hard because it's it's hard to see like how to hold it but I'll tell you using that beating foot to get that to raise that up like the right direction helps so much you know okay so I think this is going to be the last the last uh, couple of inches here last. much for your flyers tip. I can finally finish the shirt. Oh, you're welcome for the t the pliers tip. I'm just saying pliers, you need pliers. I'm so glad that helped. <laughs> All right. Hey, I don't think that's horrible. What do you think? Do you love it? Okay, Rosetta. Yes. Now, there, we're going to put Velcro right here. So I can stick my pieces there. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put we're gonna put Velcro. All right. Well, let me let me tie this off. Let me show you what I'm doing for that. Tiny bit of tape. 
and some very sharp scissors. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go to. I might have stopped too soon or went too far. I'm not sure. Um, I think I can take it back to here. Yeah. <laughs> Are you all horrified now? <laughs> it's fine. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and get all the, the string. And I'm going to cut it probably about here, so I'll put this around there. If I don't tape it before I cut it, it just becomes a frayed mess. It just pops open. this from fraying and it keeps that from fraying. Okay. Alright. Oh, I can't sew this with the pizza in it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Same with macrame. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Alright, so um, let me let me take you down again, YouTube, um, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. This, what I'm gonna do is sew this right, and then um, it's gonna have a loop right here, or I can make it have a loop, like a little loop de loop like this on the side. Which I don't hate, actually. Uh, I think instead I'm just gonna... Yeah, I don't mind that loop loop. And I think I might have... Um, I might want to make this a little shorter, and that's fine. Get the tape out again. All right, well, gosh, if you have stuck around for my whole life, y'all are marathon runners. When's your next marathon? When is your next marathon? Okay, I think maybe I can uh, cut it off, like, here instead. making this up as I go along and I'm not even kidding. Okay? Making it up as I go along. Okay. I'm going to fold that back on itself. And the thinner rope is so much easier to do than this. Actually, I still think I'm folding that back way too far. There we go. That's going to be easier. Okay, a little bit. Just a little tiny tip. Just the little tiniest tip. And I'm going to sew over that tape. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Because I can pull that tape out of there and the stitching will stay. But it doesn't show. Alright, let me sew over that again so it's not fuzzy.
All right, I sewed over that hard. Ugh. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. It's a little bump right there, and that's fine. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I mean, it's it's to be expected with these. It's to be expected with these rope baskets. Okay. All right, so that's that's the pie pan or pizza pan. I mean, it could be either one. You know, fit this too, right? Oh my gosh, I ha I have to make more because key lime pie tomorrow at noon. <laughs> yes, California time. Fingers crossed. Okay, fingers crossed. I mean, I never I. I, I never assume that anything's gonna work out the way I think it should, especially cameras, you know? Cameras do not, cameras are not my friend today. Anyway, cameras, cameras were not my friend. All right, so I'm gonna move you over here so you can see what's going on with the uh, embroidery machine, okay? And I'm sorry, um, things are a little crazy. All right, look. <laughs> okay, let me move you over here um, slowly. It's like walking over. Well, I'm walking you over so you can see what's going on with the pie. All right, there's the pie. And there's the pie. Okay, looking pretty good. It's on this last bit. Okay, it still has 50 minutes, five zero. Five zero minutes, can you see that over here? It still has five zero minutes, all right? So um, I will, on tomorrow's live, I'll start with um, dipping that in some water, okay? I won't do that until tomorrow's live, okay? I will wait, I will wait. I hope that looks good for everybody. Matches my shirt, too. Matches my shirt. Okay, so I'm going to stop that noise right now, and I'm going to I'm going to say goodbye. I mean, sometimes it's just it's just nice to be on camera instead of you know, my the rest of whatever. Hi. All right. Um, so let me, let me do this. Okay. Hi. Um, so I will be on again tomorrow. It was so much fun to watch. Well, thank you. Gosh, really Jennifer? Really? Um, I, I'm glad you enjoyed watching. Um, yay. I like to provide content just especially of stuff that I love to do. Um, I would really love to make this my career somehow. I don't know how, but if you can help make it happen, awesome. Um, but anyway, <laughs> this pie, this is so tiny. But tomorrow I'm going to put that, that other one. I'm going to finish it and, um, and we'll dip it and get rid of all that stuff. So, <laughs> yes noon <laughs> Californian time all right um, so remember tomorrow it'll be kind of weird because it'll be um, it'll be uh, simultaneous like TikTok and Instagram and then the peanut gallery who is my youngest daughter will probably she'll be working in here as well so it'll be you know kind of chaotic it'll be like three women having a nutty time in this studio okay so i'll see y'all tomorrow okay all right have a great rest of your day and i will see you then all right and um be sure you hit that like button on your way out okay all right say goodbye <laughs>